mirror, mirror on the wall. How did you get there? Today I look at the history of the mirror. Hi, this is Will. Welcome to the Innovout channel. The earliest mirrors that we know of were where the reflection from waters or ponds were used for people to look and see themselves. In some cases, people could capture this water in a dish or something like that and see the reflection wherever they are. And since this is a natural mirror, this is something that has always existed. There are stories of Greek mythology of an uh, exceptionally good looking person called Narcissus who looked at his reflection in the water and loved it so much that he fell in and drowned. In the 1960s, archaeologists have found what they believe to be is some of the earliest human-made mirrors. These were found in the Katal Hoyuk, and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, in Turkey, in the graves of ten women. These mirrors were made of obsidian, uh, an extremely polished and hardened obsidian, which is a volcanic glass. In ancient Mesopotamia, which is now Iraq, Polished copper was the commonly used met, uh, metal to achieve a mirror surface. And by 2900 BC, Egyptians were starting to use mirrors as well, of polished bronze or copper as well. And all around the world, around this time, people were starting to fashion mirrors out of polished metals or stones or glass. The first compact mirror, the sort of portable mirror that you could take around with you, was uh, created in Greece around the 5th century BC. This was a small polished piece of metal in a box that could be opened and you could look at yourself. And since the metal tarnishes quite easily, there was also a little sponge that you could clean the mirror with inside there as well. The first glass mirror, which is the style of mirror that we use today, was invented by the Romans in around the 3rd century BC. They'd put uh, metal of some sort, which is quite polished, next to a sheet of glass. And the image, you know, it wasn't perfect, it was a little bit wobbly, but that was the start, that was the very beginning of the mirror that we know and love today. With the barbarian invasions which destroyed the empire, the craft of making mirrors was unfortunately lost, and didn't come back until around the 13th century. Making mirrors today is done with a silvering process, in which a piece of glass is put into a vacuum chamber and Aluminium is sprayed at this. The aluminium atoms will then stick to the surface of the glass and create that lovely reflective surface. Nowadays, mirrors are everywhere. You can see them in your bathroom. I've got one against the wall here. They're all over the place. So from the early days of a reflective pool of water, through to polished rocks and stones, through to polished metals, through to glass that has a backing of metal, we've come a long way in the manufacturing and innovation of the mirror. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe and tap the little bell icon to be notified of new videos. Innovate, invent, innovate and create your world.